When I found out that the Navy was going to approve me to come to the Stedman Clinic for Fellowship, that um, I think was one of the more exciting moments we've had in our lives. We've had a lot of opportunities to enjoy both what summer and winter has to offer here. And so my kids got the chance to play with some of the other uh, co-fellows, children as well. And I think going forward, they'll hopefully get to see each other in the future and maintain that friendship. And my wife also made friends with a lot of the co-fellow spouses. And I think that relationship will also potentially help them out in the future as they can kind of understand we're all going through the same things at the same time with starting our practices and growing our family as well. Brendan Higgins and I have had a, a little bit of a bond before as a uh, former military member and a mil current military member, so I think that immediately established a connection between the two of us, but among the group of us, I think I couldn't ask for better classmates. With regard to our clinic support staff at the Stedman Clinic, as well as our researchers at the Stedman Philippon Institute, uh, I'd say they're second to none. Everyone is very motivated to take the best care of patients possible, as well as further the science as much as possible. Uh, the surgeons at the Stedman Clinic are at the top of their game, I think, respectively, within hip knee and shoulder surgery. And it can be a little daunting uh, when first stepping into this fellowship and the expectations that are placed upon you. But I think as the new fellows come to realize, every surgeon at this clinic is very approachable and very personable and will hopefully be a mentor for you going forward. It really has been an, uh, an awesome experience uh, based upon the fact that a lot of techniques that we've learned here this year have not even been part of my training so it's even furthered my expertise that I can bring back to the United States Navy and take care of my patients in the Marine Corps and the Navy.